Hey YouTube, it's a Mountain Hunter. I'm up here in Eastern Kentucky. My favorite spot on the top of the mountain, right in the middle of deer rifle season. As you can see, we got a little snow. I want you guys to see this, how gorgeous this is. I'm the only one up here it is absolutely silent. Just a real slow, light snowfall going on right now. The sun's out. And I got the whole mountain to myself. It's just absolutely beautiful. I'm right in the middle of deer hunting. I was like, man, I got to stop and make this video. This is pretty too, this is too damn pretty to keep all to myself and to let you guys see this. Just gorgeous, man. Can't believe I'm the only one up here. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, let's get into it. I want to show you boys a couple, a couple upgrades I just made to the Rubicon here in the last week. One of them should be real obvious. Brand new Maxis Bighorns. Man, I'm gonna tell you, these are the best tires that I have ever used. It has completely changed how this machine rides and the confidence you have going in shitty places. Man, it's a huge difference. Now I've been running a set of the Maxxis Bighorn 2s on my Rhino. And they're, don't get me wrong, man, they're they're a huge improvement from, from the stock tires. But these original Bighorns, these big heavy, thick lug six plies, oh man. These things are a beast. I'm going places in two-wheel drive that I would have a tough time going in four-wheel drive with the old tires. I got these babies aired down. I think we're sitting at about we're sitting at about four pounds right now. And she just digs in and climbs, man. Just goes. I mean, the confidence you have with these things is unreal. All right. <clears throat> Another little small modification to the rack. Normally, there's a big gap right here, there's a little hole. It goes all the way around. And every time you ride, man, your shit falls out. So I just made a little bar, kind of crudely cut it to fit. Put it in right there, little screws. Man, it works great. Everything stays in there. None of your bullshit's falling out on the trail, finding it a week later, gloves and anything else you've got in there. It just works great. Here's the other one little rear view mirror now that may seem small and you're like yeah who cares it's not a big deal man i'm telling you it seems like i'm always looking around looking behind me when i'm on the roads if i'm having to <clears throat> jump on a little run up the road a little eighth of a mile a little quarter of a mile going from trail to trail it makes a world of difference man it makes a huge difference safety and just just peace of mind kind of thing guys see the little Little custom 6.5 Creedmoor. Trigicon 3x9. Best glass I've ever used. Only thing I'll ever use again. Fiber optic technology. I'll show you guys what I'm running for ammo. Got these Deer Season XPs. 125s. Been using Deer Season XP and 30 out 6, not 6.5 Creedmoor. <laughs> probably the last three seasons. And man, to tell you that I am super impressed with the performance is an understatement. That's a video for later. All right, let's check our mileage kids and see where we're at. Keep you guys informed of what's going on. All right, 531 miles. 130 hours. And I've got another 211 miles. See the little maintenance wrench up there that lets you know, hey, you got 211 miles. You need to change your oil, bro. And it also gives you hours. You got about three hours to the oil change. So, man, the, the main reason, main reason I want to do this video are these tires. I mean, just a great looking tire. Look at these big, thick, I don't know how well this shows up. These big, thick, heavy lugs on this hog. I mean, these babies just dig and grip, and I mean, it's it's amazing. 
Alrighty guys, I just wanted to make a quick little video. I'm gonna get back to it. Wish me luck, boys. Mountain Hunter out.